team. I hope you found that video from Luther Tychonovich and University of Virginia or those videos helpful. Um, I think there's great content in there. I wanted to draw your attention to this resource I've got on my website, csteachingtips.org slash tips dash tutors. So it has the steps I want you to go through when you're working with students one on one. So I want you to introduce yourself, ask the student to describe their homework problem, ask them what they want help with. Um, and then there's some branching there if they don't know how to get started or if they have a syntax error, or if their code doesn't work. And maybe you have other courses where there's like another category. But this gives you some prompts of questions or things you might try whether you're in one of those three scenarios. And ultimately we want to model some of these debugging processes and some of these problem solving processes so that students learn to do this themselves. So pointing students to this resource can be helpful as well. Okay, a big picture piece is to, this is more relevant when you're in person, but not touch their keyboard or mouse. So really coach them in through how they're solving their problem, whether it's Googling for a uh, uh, error message that they're getting, etc. Okay, then the last piece is I think it's really common that we get frustrated when students write posts on our discussion board asking for help, but they don't provide us enough information to be helpful. And so I think it's really natural to be frustrated in that scenario, but I think recognizing like, oh, students are new to this and they don't know how to ask for help because maybe we haven't taught them how to ask for help. They don't know how to solve their problem, and so they don't know what information we need to help solve their problem. So really trying to be compassionate with students when they ask poorly formed questions, help coach them on how to ask great questions, um, I think can make it a more positive experience for students. We have to cut them a little bit of slack when they ask bad questions and just try and help them learn how to be more effective in asking questions. Okay. Do good work supporting our students. Thanks.